welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being with us today. Welcome to Dar al Hijra if you're visiting. Uh, this is a very special day for us. Twice each year, we uh, recognize the women in our sewing program. Today, both our beginner and advanced students are graduating. And the women in each class have come twice a week over the last five months for three hours a day or more, over 100 hours total uh, to learn and practice their new skill. Beginning students learn basic stitches, how to use the machine, how to cut the patterns. They start to make basic items like bags and abayas and other articles of clothing that you can see around the courtyard here and you can look at later. And our advanced students focus more on things that can help them to start to earn income with their sewing skill. Uh, they'll do alterations and learn how to make pillows and cushions, commercial draperies, that type of thing. There are only six slots in each class, uh, so it's a small group. But today on graduation day, we make a big deal about their achievement. This is the 10th year of our sewing program. And now, after today, nearly 250 will have graduated. Six students at a time in those classes. The sewing program was our first empowerment program. Uh, over the years, that program has grown, and today it includes an entrepreneurship boot camp that's led by Empowered Women International, where women can learn how to start their own business. It includes CPR classes in multiple languages, which is a big help for those working in childcare or healthcare. We have a Job Connect email list to share open opportunities each week with more than 400 people that are registered for that list. And our uh, annual Spring Into Work Job Fair, uh, which is one of the largest job fairs in the region, uh, we had nearly 360 people attend that event this year. And the newest and I think one of the most impactful programs, our Pathway to Empowerment program, in which clients can earn stipends while they go through uh, an upskilling class and, and a professional mentorship program. And all of that started 10 years ago with the sewing class. This morning I was preparing a check request to bring to the office for processing. And it used to be that uh, the requests that we submitted from social services were all for zakah payments. They were rental assistance for people who were struggling to meet their daily expenses because they were unemployed or underemployed or had uh, come to some difficulty in their life. This morning I prepared six payment requests and one of them was for Zakat, for a brother who needs some help with rent assistance. But the other five were all stipends for people who had completed our Pathway to Empowerment program, had secured a new job, had passed a certification exam, or were taking a class to learn IT or healthcare or a new skill. And I just thought that was so telling of that shift that uh, it was investing in the empowerment of people to be able to sustain themselves and meet their expenses rather than uh, only the assistance, which is sometimes needed, but not the only piece. Recently, uh, we visited the Resource Center for a Better Life in Arlington, which was established last year by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, they offer support services for newcomers, and they are also in the process of starting a sewing program. Uh, and already, their program is waitlisted. Steve and Kathy Busseth, the coordinators of that center, are with us today, and I want to recognize them and the great work they're doing and welcome them to, to Dar al-Hijra. Um, why? Why sewing? Why, do, why is it so important? Why did we start with sewing? Why has it lasted 10 years? Why are they starting with sewing? Sewing is something that wives and moms can do from home, even if they have kids and family responsibilities, if they don't drive, if they don't have a degree or their English isn't perfect. And in those classes, they not only learn how to sew, they learn patience, attention to detail, problem solving, collaboration, and they gain confidence and they find friendship and community in that space. Even a brother in the community gets me in the parking lot and for months has been asking me to let him into the sewing program. <laughs> 
So sisters, I want to congratulate you today for your 100 hours plus that you've invested into time and practice. I want to thank you for being role models for your kids and other family members um, and the other women in the community. Today is your day. We're very proud of you, super proud of you. And uh, may Allah bless you on this day and every day going forward. At this time, I'd like to invite some of the sisters up to share their comments about what they learned in the class and what the class meant to them. Who would like to start? Sister Nida. Assalamualaikum everyone, hello. Uh, my name is Nida. Um, I did the beginners class um, last uh, season. Was it spring? It was spring? Oh, fall, okay. Um, and I started off with not knowing how to do much on a sewing machine, just squiggly lines and I was so convinced that it was perfect before I started and then when I started and Sister Asma put all of her effort into making sure we perfected everything um, we have gotten to the point where we can cut and sew something within hours not days like we did in the start <laughs> um, so I really appreciate you know Dal Hijra for giving us this opportunity to even think of getting such a good you know, um, program that we would benefit from in the future. And I appreciate um, Islamic Relief and um, all of the sponsors that have, you know, put their hands into making this happen. And thank you, Sister Esma, for all the hard work. Um, I would really say, like, the sweat, tears, and pain that went into it. We had hours and hours of mistakes, and she was very patient with us. Um, so we really appreciate that. I'm sure on behalf of all of the ladies over here that are graduating today. Um, and I wish everyone profits from this and, you know, gets something that they want and start a business that will help them as it is helping my business now as, you know, I, I'm able to alter things which I was not able to do before. <laughs> Thank you. Sister Nancy? I don't know what to say after Neda uh, said everything. MashaAllah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Welcome, and thank you for being here with us today. Um, first, on behalf of myself and my classmates, I'd like to thank Sister Asma. Sister Asma, you've taught us so much patience. SubhanAllah. I didn't know I had this much patience. From the first class, just took me the whole class just trying to thread the, the, the thread through the whole machine. Um, and now, mashallah, we've made some, some beautiful items, alhamdulillah. Um, she never gave, gave up on us. She told us that, you know, we could do it. And she kept pushing us and encouraging us. So, jazakum allahu khairan. Um, as a Girl Scout coordinator, I have done many adventurous things in, in, in the past. But for me, this was a very nice and fresh and... Um, you know, start to learn how to sew. I've always wanted to learn how to sew. So I, I thank, you know, Allah and then Dara Hijra, Islamic Relief and all the sponsors for giving me this opportunity to learn. Um, I'd like to thank my sisters in the class who helped me, never gave up on me from trying to like measure me, um, helping me cut my pattern, to helping me uh, sew and they, you know, they were a great support. So, you know, as uh, Sister Stacy said, you know, we made friendships and, you know, we built bonds, which was amazing in the class. The, the, the great thing about the class as well is only six of us, so we were able to, to build that sisterhood, alhamdulillah. Um, as I said, I'm a Girl Scout coordinator here in the area, so I plan to use my skills that I have learned, inshallah, to pass them on to the Girl Scouts. We have 150 approximately Girl Scouts um, in the Mass Community uh, Center. So hopefully I can use what I have learned um, in the beginner's class to to help teach my girls. And I'm looking forward to the advanced class to learn more skills as well, inshallah. Thank you for coming, everyone. Jazakallah khair. Sister Huima? Anyone else? Please, sister. So shy. <laughs> Show them all that confidence you built when you were so <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome everybody. My name is Halima Abugran. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. You cannot hear. Um, 
it, it has been a great pleasure for me to participate in the classroom with everybody. And uh, I congratulate all the sisters, you know, for uh, uh, doing the hard work and uh, coming so far. And uh, um, it has been uh, an amazing journey for all of us. I want to thank Dar al Hijra for this opportunity that they gave us uh, for empowering, you know, the women in our community. Uh, and thank you, uh, Miss Stacy and Miss Asma, for working hard with us um, by providing us a space where we can uh, enjoy our hobby and uh, at the same time learn along the way. Thank you, Sister Asma, for being so patient with us. You know, uh, from beginning class, and now we uh, uh, we know, you know, um, how to sew. You know, like in one hour or two hour. And we become, you know, like, mashallah, so professional. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Um, I, whatever I said, I cannot thank you enough, you know, for what you did for us. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for coming, and uh, God bless you. Thank you. Sisters, would anyone else like to say something? Assalamu alaikum. How is everyone? My name is Inshira. I'm actually from New York. I'm from New York. And uh, I had to come to Virginia because, um, because of the COVID situation. And I had to stay in the house for a very, very long time uh, to keep from getting sick. And uh, when I found out about the sewing class, it just gave me the opportunity to get, to get out and to be with other sisters and to learn uh, new skills. I actually can sew a little bit. But uh, the class is so advanced, it teaches you how to um, make patterns. It exposed me to things that I, didn't even, I, I, I don't even have any experience with. The sisters are tremendously, tremendously warm. I'm, so, I'm like the big sister. I'm the older one, but they, they're just so warm and kind. And our teacher, uh, Sister Asma, she's just an outstanding, outstanding. You know, I feel healthy. I feel happy. You know, I, I, I'm, I, and I feel most, most, most grateful, most, most grateful. It's a little hard for me to speak, but I had to come and say alhamdulillah. It's really, really, uh, really, really uh, just brought so much joy to me. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. They're modest about their accomplishments. You'll have time to see some of the beautiful and sometimes elaborate things that they've made. You can walk around after we uh, complete the, the ceremony. When I was, I, I always had high marks in school growing up, all through grade school and even college and my master's degree. But I got a C in a sewing class for a wraparound skirt, which is essentially a square cut piece of fabric with a stitch on it. So ladies, I am in utter awe of you and your accomplishment and the beautiful things that you make, really. <laughs> no joke, that's a true story. <laughs> um, at this time, I want to invite up Imam Farhan to say a few words to the sisters. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salam, ala sayyidil anbiya wa mursaleen, nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, amma ba'd. Uh, I always enjoy coming to these graduations, not just because of the cake, um, I promise, uh, but it, it always is a wonderful opportunity to really look around, and, it, and even though we call this a women's empowerment program, it truly is a community empowerment program. And it's very important for us to, as a community, to understand that every time we raise the water level, the whole community rises. And the contributions that these sisters are going to make, it's going to help with our own economy that we're working on and help us and empower us, create more business owners, and inshallah, give you guys the opportunity to employ other Muslims in the future and pass on the skill set. Um, in my home, I am the one that sews. Um, just just uh, putting it out there. Uh, 
<laughs> right. So <laughs> I, I still don't know how to use a sewing machine. All I do is like I just patch up the holes. Uh, but that's that's about. I would imagine your worst efforts are far beyond my best efforts. So uh, I, that that's definitely there. But it, it definitely has puts a perspective on what our community does. And while I I do see all the women here, and they all are walillah alhamd empowered, and the work that they've put forward, we have to remember that this is a community effort. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us taqwa, to work together upon good and piety, that this could not happen had it not been for you, the students, had it not been for our wonderful teacher, but also because of the partners that we have here, and also because of the families that some of you sisters might have at home. You know, I know that you had supportive husbands. I know that you, know, you had support, or the children, they might have been frustrated with like, oh, why do you got to go for so long? But at the end of the day, it's important to understand that we are all here to support each other. All of these relationships are meant to complement what we do. And the roles that we all have, we're here to complement each other to make sure that we are a whole as a community. And walillah alhamd, this is a manifestation of that. And I hope this is something that continues. And like I said, I look forward to every single one of these graduations. And uh, I, was, I was looking around and I was like, oh, this must be the advanced graduation. Right. <laughs> yeah. As I was looking around at like at the at the different outfits, I was like, "Oh, this is the advanced graduation." So, and then with the sister in front of us, she was like, "No, no, no these are the beginners." I was like, "Oh, wow. Okay, this is like super impressive." With uh, the And one more thing, I would like to throw out there this year, a little bit different from what I've mentioned last year, is that uh, there is an opportunity to give back to the masjid. All of you have thanked Dar Hijra. Dar Hijra. If you look around, I'm not very happy with like the tapestries that we have. So, if you got just saying. Just putting it out there, if you guys want to help us improve on some of those tapestries, if you want to have some like drapes that we want to hang around, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't really like this brown curtain at all, you know, just, just, just saying, just saying. Now, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you guys. Congratulations. You, you guys really do earn it. Um, be proud of all the efforts and all the things that you've done. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to give you all the success. I mean. But I'm going to invite uh, Sister Shaheen, uh, the women's program manager here at Darl Hijra, to say a few words as well. It's on? Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> All right, salam alaikum, everyone. So Stacy first um, showed me around the, the social uh, services building and she showed me all about the sewing program and stuff, but I had never met anybody. I never met Sister Asma, I never met any of the students. I just heard about what a wonderful program this was. Um, and then Aisha, who became my friend here <laughs> when I started working here, um, she told me she's in the program. So I was like, oh wow, this is really, um, it's really nice. that I thought this was not only for community members, but also like, like from outside the community, but I just love to see that everybody's coming together. Um, I didn't really know, to be honest, what to talk about today because I've never been asked to speak at a graduation before. Um, but I, I thought that I would share this dua, which is, um, in, my, in my eyes, very empowering. Um, it's a dua that we say after the Fajr prayer, Allahumma um, inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a, which is, oh Allah, give me beneficial knowledge. Um, wa inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a, wa amalan mutaqabbala, and give me um, actions that are accepted. Rizqan um, tayyibah. And oh Allah, give me um, rizq or, or provision that is, that is pure and halal. And I feel like this is such a, it, it's a dua that kind of goes with this occasion because it's like, okay, you, you got the beneficial knowledge, you got the skills, right? And you're acknowledging those skills and you're asking Allah to bless you in them. And you're asking Allah to give you halal rizq and to um, in, like, allow you to continue uh, passing on these skills and continue to get the benefit from yourself, for your family and for your communities, inshallah. And congratulations to all of you. I'm so happy to see you and meet you. I look forward to getting to know you one-on-one, -on -one, inshallah. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> And now I'll ask uh, Sister Fazia, our Deputy Director of Outreach here at Dara Hijra, to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, everyone, and especially to our guests who took time to come and visit us today and celebrate part of this great, great uh, um, event. Um, congratulations and mabruk. Um, and I'm going before Imam Shakar. I'm... I have no words. <laughs> Imam Shakir, you're here. Thank you uh, for asking me to say a few words. On behalf of outreach, I would like to say, and as uh, an attorney as well, is to find everything what everybody said, ditto, 
and to find the art of negotiation. Now, taking your work and finding the way to negotiate, don't be shy. There is a way to take your product and negotiate it to make benefit to the community. And the community is not just the Islamic community, it's everyone around you. We are the outreach department. Make sure that each one of you uh, meet with uh, either Imam Beg or myself and uh, get a table together, maybe, uh, for Taste of Islam. Taste of Islam is one of our annual events here where we showcase the beauty of Islam and the art. And this is art. And this is art we can wear. And wearing it is da'wah the biggest dawa. So congratulations, Mabrook. Thank you for asking me to say a few words. And um, I'll end with uh, every morning I wake up and I say, oh Allah, use me and don't replace me, but to elevate us. And I feel so elevated looking around this room today. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Congratulations. Sister Asma, shout out. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to thank Sister Stacy, who inherited a heavy load from the Social Service Department. And this program in particular is very dear and near to my heart. Twelve years ago, Sister Tahani was here, and we had a meeting. In presence was uh, some sisters that are not with us today. Uh, I remember... Sister Bahija, you know her, uh, our elder in the community. And we were discussing how to improve the social service. And when I suggested that we have to start limiting the handout uh, where there is need and to start giving hand training and skill development. So we spoke about the issue of sewing classes English language or second language for many of our communities who do not speak English as they should and also computer classes so I, I would like to mention all of these because once we turn something into reality we want to really keep it up so the social service department mashallah has done a wonderful job in turning an idea into a reality this is something that our community needs badly that's why this program is very near and dear to my heart and I believe that uh, we can, if we are not doing it, Sister Stacey, we need to allow our sisters who are finished their classes to come and do their clothing shows. We want to make a day for them to come and show and sell their products at Dar Lijra. Because when Dar al Hijra community starts to buy their products, it will help them augment their trust in themselves and their confidence and their business skills. And then they can go to the malls and we can help them market in the so many markets out there in the open. I would like to also thank, uh, of course, Sister Stacy and uh, Sister uh, Fazia who has been very helpful in, in this program, and also Sister uh, Taiba and all other sisters that I miss their name. But uh, I want to also thank the partners, uh, Islamic Relief USA, and the, the guests who have been working with us for some time. Uh, I'm sorry I missed your name, but I want to recognize your presence and your cooperation we are instructed in Islam to always cooperate with everybody in matters of righteousness and goodness and not to cooperate with anybody in matters of evil or wickedness. So this is not a slogan for Muslims. This is a mandate from the Quran that we should extend hands of cooperation to everybody, Muslim, non-Muslim, neighbor, far neighbor, no neighbor, Anybody who wants to cooperate with us, we are here to get our hands together and our hearts together. Once again, thank you. Congratulations to our graduates. And I hope to see your clothing show very soon. Inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.
Uh, whatever Shake Shacker asks of me, I try to accommodate. So we're going to start to work on your clothing show here. <laughs> um, we have a special guest with us today. Dr. Akram, the chairman of the board of Dar al Hijra, is here. And I'd like him to uh, congratulate our students today. Peace be upon you. I would like to start with uh, thanking every and each one that who ha have been behind this this wonderful amazing program and I, I I say this because I would like for all of us to go back to this program when it was becoming it was just an idea it was just an idea it was just a dream so everything starts with you know you have to be you have to have a dream for it you have to think about it you have to plan for it and then you have to put in place all resources to get it done and you have to be perseverance committed so join me to thank and pray for those again from the beginning those who we know those who we have here today and those who we don't uh I, you know i can i can name many but but you know allah knows them right so and 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 I let's continue to pray to those who graduated. I am one of the uh, community members that who have benefited. I I, I can't remember, you know. A, uh, I believe this 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 suit I got, you know, uh, I got it trimmed and I got it whatever best fitted for me through a sister that who graduated from Dar al Hijra Suwam program. And that was like what four or five years ago. So this is this is you know a, a story that touches me. I mean, I serve as the chairman of board of Dar al Hijra, but today also is a special day for me because I have my sisters, all my sisters who are graduating from the beginners. Uh, class and the advanced class, but also amongst the beginners class is my second half, is my wife, Nancy. Uh, she is sitting there, and, 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 that's, and that's for her and for every and each one of you, really, that who have, you know, really wanted to do this. I understand that now a, a, that it takes a lot to be able to go through such a program, and you, you need a lot of support. Which most often, most probably, you don't get that really enough support that helps you to focus on projects and work. But Jazakumullah khair, thank you so much. Please, for the beginners, continue the path, inshallah. And I, inshallah, looking forward to that you give back every day and you can give back really by so many means. The very least of it is that you propagate this such wonderful program, is you donate, recruit donors, you know, help our sponsors, you know, to raise funds so we can in expand the program, inshallah, azzawajal. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I may want to suggest an a, just an idea to build on what has been said by Sheikh Shaker. You know, we have we have so many private schools, uh, you know, nationwide, right? Whether they're Islamic, Catholic, right? And then I, I mean, we can, you know, and 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 the uniform school uniform are, are I consider them expensive, okay? And they're not that you know great. So really, Dar al Hijra can social services soon program grads. We can have maybe a union, a reunion, and bring everybody together. Give, get a couple of business people, sponsor, uh, you know, something, you know, start, you know, have a lab, have something there, and then a small mini factory just to work on the school uniforms every year, you know. I. Uh, I, I believe it's possible, but it requires, again, as we mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, everything starts with an idea. So maybe that's an idea, Sister Stacy. but you know, inshallah, we're here to support you. Sheikh Shaker, have Imam Farhan, we have Brother Naeem, who's acting executive director now. Uh, Brother Samir Abu Isa, the executive director, he's in a vacation. So alhamdulillah, he's not here, so you can, you can put any, you know, it can get approved right away. <laughs> 
So with that, I don't want to take much of your time. Really, Jazakumullah khair. Looking forward to continue to see this program serving more and more, inshallah, and looking forward for all of us to, cook, to keep giving back to the community. And Jazakumullah khair, Sheikh Shakir, for reminding us why we're here, why we're here every day. We're here every day to enjoy the good and to forbid the evil. We're, we're here today to cooperate with all our fellow citizens, with all our fellow brother, brothers and sisters across the spectrum. Okay, so, so and, and that's, a, that's a how to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is, this is the ultimate goal, is we're here to attain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the serving, through the services, through working together, through many, many things. With that, jazakumullah khair, may Allah reward you all. Assalamu alaikum. Sisters, we have a lot of good ideas here today, and we have limited time before Brother Samir returns, so we're going to have to get busy getting these things in motion. <laughs> uh, at this time, I'm going to call up the sisters to receive their certificates and their gifts. Uh, if you don't know, our beginning uh, graduates receive a brand new machine that they can take home and use uh, to work from home or to sew from home. And, our, uh, and everyone receives a certificate, and our advanced students receive a gift card from uh, Joanne Fabric to help them buy some additional fabric and, and notions. Sister Aisha. <laughs> Sister Amira. Sister Nancy. <laughs> Sister Yureji. Sister Sister Ureji is also a graduate of our Empowered Women International uh, program, which is the six-week program on how to start your own business. And all of our sewing graduates have preference to go into that program so they can learn not just the skill of sewing, but how to write their business plan, how to promote it, how to network, find funding, uh, marketing, all of those things. So, Mabrook. <laughs> Sister uh, Waney. And Sister Marie. So congratulations again to the beginner class. Uh, now for our advanced students, uh, Sister Inshira. Sister Syra. <laughs> Sister Mawada. <laughs> Sister Halima. <laughs> and Sister Netta. Congratulations again to all of our graduates today.
As a few people have mentioned, uh, in 2013, it was Islamic Relief USA who put their hands with ours and their dollars uh, to start this program. They've been funders and staunch supporters uh, ever since. So I want to recognize and thank Islamic Relief. I also want to thank Sister Asma. I'm sure you can feel the love for her from the students. Everyone who's spoken is uh, nearly in tears with their gratitude for Sister Asma. She's incredibly patient and uh, her dedication and love that she brings to the program is just beautiful. So thank you, Sister Asma. We really appreciate you. And I want to thank uh, Sisters Teva and Firial and Samia on the social services staff who manage a million behind the scenes uh, details to coordinate this program. If you are in need of a seamstress, please contact our office and we will connect you. We have had sewing students do projects. Uh, no, really, this is no joke. Um, as uh, Brother Akram said, they can do alterations, they can make special things. We had, uh, there, was a, um, there was a woman that worked very closely with us from Fairfax County Public Schools and she was a director of all of the family liaisons in our region and she became ill with cancer. And our sewing students, as a gesture of kindness for her, made uh, scarves for her when she started to lose her hair and a matching uh, neck scarf. And we sent that package to her, and she was just moved uh, beyond uh, imagination by that kind gesture. So uh, point is, they're very gifted, and if you do need someone, we're happy to connect you. Also, if you'd like to support the program, you can go to our website at hijra.org, which is H-I-J-R-A-H.org, to donate. And I want to thank you all again for being here, especially our special guests. Um, when you join us for this event, you're, you're showing the students what a great achievement it is and, and uh, that they deserve to be celebrated. So thank you for being here. <clears throat> Please stay for cake and uh, visit the displays that the women have uh, prepared for you. And uh, at this time, I'll invite Imam Farhan, who is, I think, still here. Okay, I'll invite Sheikh Shakir for a closing words and a dua. In my closing words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that the first thing that he taught Adam was the names of things. It's an amazing story that is repeated in the Quran in many places. But that part of it is only in the beginning of the second chapter in the Quran. And Allah taught Adam the names of things. It is something to consider. Learning is a lifelong endeavor, as they say, and applying the knowledge we get is what knowledge is meant for. So don't forget your skills, don't forget your knowledge, don't forget your application, and don't forget your teachers in your dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. وتوب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم هو الله accept our repentance and forgive our sins and help us make our own living and live to make living for others and to help others make living help us cooperate help us see the way forward and support our effort seeking your pleasure Amen Assalamu alaikum